What's up guys? I am B-Rad and we're here on the Cross Training Enduro Skills channel and I'd say the number one thing for learning wheelies is get that front wheel up near balance point as quickly as possible without gaining much forward momentum. That's going to allow you to keep your wheelies very slow and controlled and also it's going to be a lot safer. You're not going to be going fast if you loop. Your bike's probably going to be okay and hopefully you will too. You want to work on very minimal throttle eighth to quarter throttle if you're on a 250 or 300 that's probably all you need but you are going to have to have a very good clutch control time the clutch with that little bit of throttle we're giving it you want to kind of get your clutch lever set up just before the engagement point uh, hopefully you're familiar with that if you're working on this technique so you're going to kind of hover it somewhere off your handlebar before it starts grabbing pulling you forward now when you give it that eighth to quarter throttle as you're twisting, you wanna dump it all. So you want that quick inertia impact, uh, and that's gonna help bring your wheel up very quickly without your bike uh, lunging forward into a power wheelie where you're gonna get out of control. You're really gonna to wanna to work on uh, weighting and de-weighting, specifically your front suspension if you're coming from sitting down at nearly a standstill. Um, You'll get plenty of traction if you have your butt back on the seat. You probably won't have to worry about that. But it's really important to kind of use your suspension, both front and rear, to get traction and let help lift the front wheel up into the air. So one really good way to do that is um, you can grab with one finger on your front brake lever here. And you kind of push down uh, you don't want to use too much chest, you don't want to get your body forward, but if you kind of stay kind of rigid here, kind of use your uh, kind of your lower to, to chest and just kind of keep locked, you can compress your suspension a little bit, and then when it's unloading, that's when, when you want to time your uh, throttle and clutch drop, and that'll really make you be able to come up with, with what seems like no throttle. The most important part, both for safety and control, uh, to be able to do this, is the rear brake. Before you start your wheelie, you want to check, make sure your brake is grabbing. You may have put a new rear tire on recently and your pads aren't closed to the disc. So always pump that, give it some checks as you're rolling, make sure it's grabbing. Before you start your wheelie, you want your uh, toe covering the brake. And this is just going to have you set up. So if you do uh, get the wheel up really quickly and it drops you back, your foot's already there, all you have to think about is putting your toe down and that'll set your wheelie down. A lot of people think it requires some like elephant's worth of pressure on there, but even for 12 o'clocks, I mean, I could apply enough pressure with my fingertips and your foot in a moto boot is more than enough. So you'll have to play around with different pressures, see what uh, works for you and your brake setup, your bike. But. Uh, definitely make sure you're covering the brake, but not only covering it, actually using it to bring your front wheel down. You'll see my left leg dangling out. Now, the reason I'm doing that is to act as a counterbalance. So sometimes you may hit a bump, you may turn your handlebars uh, to the left and it'll kind of throw your weight to the right. In order to counteract that, you can dangle your leg out. Um, typically for me, I will on occasion have to put my right leg out, but the issue with that is then you're not covering your rear brake and things can go south pretty quickly. Try and set yourself up and get comfortable to a point where uh, your left leg is the main leg you'll use for that counterbalance. The last thing that's super important is uh, if both feet are on the pegs, peg pressure, so pushing down on the right peg, it's really gonna throw you to the left side of the bike. You want your knees to kind of be open when you're doing these really slow wheelies and just kind of let the bike, you can almost almost shift it like a typewriter moving over uh, your hands on the bars. Just open up uh, your chest, your elbows, and your knees and let the bike kind of float there to control it.
So thanks everyone for watching. I hope this video was really helpful and you uh, learned some techniques that will help you wheelie. Again, my name is B-Rad. Uh, if you don't know me from YouTube already, go check out my channel, B-Rad. Uh, we'll have links up on the screen in the description. Awesome.